Welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating a, another Christmas project. In the previous video, I told you guys that we'll either be having episode number two of Let's Explore Scratch or a cool typewriting effect. But since Christmas is on Saturday, I decided let's create a Christmas project and then we can have the other series commence after Christmas. So in this video, we're going to be creating a design your own Christmas tree project and I hope you guys enjoyed that vi this video. Let's get started with a quick demonstration of the project that we will be building today. When the green flag is clicked, a Christmas carol will be playing as the background music. This Christmas carol is Jingle Bells. The link to the song is in the description below and within the notes and credits section of the shared scratch project. The link to that project is in the description below. Just drag the ornament you would like to place on the Christmas tree and the Christmas present you can just drag it underneath the Christmas tree to make it look nice. Another thing is that you don't necessarily have to use the same sprites as I have used. You can draw any sprite of your own. Another thing is that you can find both of these sprites in the sprite library. So yeah. So let's get creating this project. I'm going to name this project Design Your Own Christmas Tree. So let's delete the cat sprite and hover on Choose a Sprite and Paint a New Sprite. But before that, go to the Backdrop section and choose a backdrop. I'm going to choose the winter backdrop. Once you're on the winter backdrop, select the Christmas tree and ungroup it. Next, delete all of the snow, just like this. Now select the Christmas tree, click on copy and delete both of this both of these. Now go to the sprite and paste it. All right, I'm gonna rotate it just like this. Okay, that's great. I'm also gonna increase the size, bigger. Great, and I'm going to set the X position to zero and the Y posi position to zero as well. Uh, all right, now select the rectangle tool, set the fill color to brown. You can set it to brown by first setting the color to 100, saturation to 100, brightness to 20. Now you can draw a rectangle just like this. And this is the bark of our Christmas tree. I'm also gonna change the fill color of the Christmas tree, maybe a bit lighter. All right, that's great. I'm gonna name the sprite Christmas tree. Let's paint our ornaments now. Hover on choose a sprite and paint a new sprite. But before that, let's code the Christmas tree. There's not much to code. When the green flag is clicked, we just want this to go to the front layer and sh show. Actually, go to the back layer, not the front layer. Okay, that's it. Now go to sprite one, click on costumes, select the circle tool, and draw a circle. Hold on shift to make a perfect circle. So this sprite is gonna have two costumes. One is gonna be a bigger version of it and the second one is gonna be the small, smaller version of it. Um, let's fill this in with the red and we can set the outline to, uh, I think this is good, eight is good. Now select the line tool and draw a line just like this. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna copy it, duplicate it. Oh wait, no need to copy it, just duplicate it. And now you can just 
decrease the size. I'm gonna reduce the outline too. Yeah, that's good. Now you can check whether the size is good for you, maybe a little bit smaller. All right, that's good, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Maybe I'm gonna reduce the size of the first costume as well. It's a bit too big. Okay, so for this, when the green flag is clicked, zoom in. Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, go to the front layer, then switch costume to costume number one. Next, drag in a show. Now, when this sprite is clicked, create clone of myself. And when I start as a clone, switch the costume to costume number two. Then set drag mode to draggable. And also when the green flag is clicked, we want to set the drag mode to not draggable. So when I start as a clone, switch costume to costume number two, set drag mode to draggable, um, go to front layer and show. All right, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, so now let's duplicate the sprite um, I'm gonna delete both of the costumes, but before that, choose the star sprite. You can choose whatever you want, but I'm gonna stick with this. Uh, basically, all you need to do is just choose an ornament of your own. Okay, I'm gonna detach this from the create clone myself. Also, remove the switch costume too, because this only has like one costume. Uh, okay, I'm gonna align it here. So, now go to X and Y. All right, before that, also remember to drag and eight, go to X and Y over here. So now you can even drag the star. Okay, let me just go on full screen, that's better. Right, so that is way better. All right, now duplicate this. Choose. Present, oh wait, no, I just scrolled down and found it. I think it's gift. Yeah, it's gift. So choose both gift A and gift B. All right, now we can put this, oh wait. Once again, remember to detach, detach this from the create clone myself. I'm gonna set the, Y position X when Y position over here. So actually over here. I'm planning to reset the position of everything. So over here, move this, put this back. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the sprite. Remember to put the same X value for everything. I'm gonna set it to 187. So 187, okay, let me just detach this from create clone, maybe over here. So 187 and positive two. Okay, maybe zero. Now I'm gonna detach this from create clone and put this over here. All right, that's good. 187, negative 95. 187, negative 187, and 110. All right, so now we have this. But I wanna change the costume to, since we have both a blue and a red one, I wanna switch the costume every alternate one. So I'm gonna put a next costume over here 
over there actually. So now, that's great. All right, now we're done with three. Let's make the dots over here. So in order to do that, duplicate, go to the costumes. I'm gonna delete this. I'm sorry, delete it, not paste. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle just like this. Detach it from create clone of myself. I'm gonna remove the next costume. So now I'm gonna set the outline to one and the fill color to what? Duplicate this, now just fill it in with another one, with another color. Um, blue for me. Duplicate it. Green. Maybe not that green. This green. Now, pink. Not to forget red. Yes, and that's it. That's enough, I guess. You can add more if you want. So now we can just put them all. Same X axis. Okay, so. One fifty six and one five. One fifty six, sixty four, one fifty six, fifteen, one fifty six. Oops. Okay, and 156 and negative 34. All right, let's check this out now. It's perfect. This is great. Okay, I love this, this is perfect. You can of course make more costumes and great now if you want we can even make a reset button so you can choose this button and make right reset here I'm gonna make the color to white okay let's drag this to in the center and this too Copy, paste. That's great. So when the green flag is clicked, we can probably align it here. It's too big, 70 maybe. Okay, so when green flag clicked, set the size to one, actually 70, yep. Um, show, go to front layer. Drag in a forever loop, if else condition. So if it's touching the mouse pointer, you can switch the costume to button B, button to B, and else switch the costume to button to A. So however, it, it has a cool effect like this. Now when the sprite is clicked, podcast, something like delete. So when I receive delete, we can delete this clone. So we can just put this for all. Oh, 
Okay, it's great. It's working. So in the share project, the reset option is in there. But to your project, you can add this reset option. So that's pretty much it in making your design your own Christmas tree project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and share this video to others. Thank you guys so much for watching and Merry Christmas in advance.